They say love makes everything worthwhile, and that if it is worth having, it is worth waiting. But what if the love we expected was colorful as the rainbows, turned into heavy clouds, ready to pour rains? The love we once cherished turned into something we missed every single time. Is it still worthy to hold on to? Will you wait for something? That has no assurance of coming back. Aba, you're so tall now, Tito. Really? It's been a while, Tina. How are you? I'm doing fine. Look, here's my little one. Oh, he's so cute. Tito, who's there? Let's go inside. Oh, Tina! How are you? Long time no see. Indeed, Senora. I'm fine. How about you? That's good. I love this here, baby. Oh, is it a boy? Yes, ma. And the ears are huge. Hi, what do you expect? The father is a bagobo. Even Tina looks like a bagobo now. <laughs> ma, I just go to my room. Sure, go ahead. Tina. Tina, come here, sir. No, Tina. Is it not a good thing to be married? It is hard, Senora. Very hard. I think it is better working here again. There! Didn't I tell you what would it be like, huh? That you would be a slave to your husband and that you would work for a baby eternally. It's true to you. Hmm. Are you not pregnant again? It's kind of embarrassing to admit, but yes, Senora. I am pregnant now. Hello? You will have a dozen before long. <laughs> By the way, Senora, hmm. how is Senor? Hi. He's always losing his temper over the tractor drivers. It is not the way it was when a mother was here. You remember what a good driver he was? The tractors were always kept in working condition. But now, I wonder... Why he left all of a sudden? He said he would be gone for only two days. I don't know to end. I don't want to know anymore. Wait, Tina. I think your bagobito is hungry. Okay, wait, Tina. Ate? Ate? Yes, senora. Can you make the milk for the baby? No, no, don't bother. Let me take care of this. No, it's fine. How about you come with me here in the kitchen? Will that be okay? Yes, of course. You know what? I can see myself a few years before. I used to work here for Senora when I was younger. I can see that it was a good experience, huh? Here's the milk for the baby. Indeed. 
By the way, thank you for this. Tina? Coming, Senora. Tina? Tina, come here already. I will give you some clothes and an old blankets that you can cut into things for your baby. Take it. Thank you, Senora. By the way, my reason of visiting here is because my Bagubitas baptism is about to come. Will you come as his madrina? Of course! You are part of our family. I will also provide for the baptismal clothes and crispy. I would be glad to be the ninang of this Bagubito. You're so generous as always, Senora. Thank you so much! No problem, Tina. Um, I think it's time to go, Senora. Ingo might look for me already. Okay, okay. But when are you coming again, Tinang? I still don't know, Senora. Okay, Tinang. Don't forget the bundle of clothes. And oh, I forgot. You should stop by the drugstore. And they asked me once whether you're still with us. You have a letter there. And I was going to open it to see if there was a bonus, but I thought you would be coming. I wonder, who could that be? <coughs> Tinang, bring me some young corn next time. Bye! Oh, hi, Tito! A letter? There's no other person who will give me a letter but my sister. Is something bad happened? My dearest Tinam, Hello, how is life getting along? Are you still in good condition? As for myself, the same as usual. But you're far from my side. It is not easy to be far from our lover. Tinam, do you still love me? I hope your kind and generous heart will never fade. Someday, or somehow, I'll be there again to fulfill our promise. Many weeks and months have elapsed. Still, I remember our bygone days, especially when I was suffering with the heat of the tractor under the heat of the sun. I was always in despair until I imagined your personal appearance coming forward bearing the sweetest smell that enabled me to view the distant horizon. Tina, I could not return because I found that my mother was very ill. That is why I was not able to take you as a partner of life. 
please respond to my missive at once so that I know whether you still love me or not. I hope you did not love anybody except myself, my mother. Unfortunately, she died last month. I think I'm going beyond the limit of your leisure hours, so I close with best wishes to you. Yours forever, Amada. Far from our lovers, I imagine your personal appearance coming forward. Someday, somehow, I'll be great to fulfill our promise. My lover is treating me. He never meant to desert me. Now, I can't imagine myself going out with anyone else, nor do I want to. Will you marry me, Tina? I'm sorry, I can't. Amado, the tractor driver, who could look at me and make me lower my eyes. He was very dark and were filthy and torn clothes on the farm. Amado! Tinang, I would study in the city night school and take up mechanical engineering someday. Wow, that's a good thing to know, future engineer Galuran. 
Of course, future Mrs. Galuran. Here's the bolted juice. Come, Dino. What's going on? Starry, starry night Paint your palette blue and gray Look out on a summer's day With eyes that know the darkness in my soul Shadows on the hills Sketch the trees and the daffodils Catch the breeze and the winter chill in colors on the snowy linen land Now I understand What you tried to say to me and How you suffered for your sanity and How you tried to set them free They would not listen, they did not know how Perhaps they'll listen now Starry, starry night Flaming flowers that brightly blaze Swirling clouds in violet haze Reflect in Vincent's eyes of china blue Colors changing hue Morning fields of amber grain Weathered faces lined in pain Are soothed beneath the artist's loving hand